If automation isn't already a boardroom priority, then it really should be. If you think about the way that work is completed at the moment, but also think about those who are entering the workforce in the future. You know, if I think I as a millennial am digital and a very much a digital enabled employee, imagine if you've grown up with voice and touch as your norm, you're gonna enter the workplace and see that the vast majority of systems are, in, are archaic, uh, they're alien. Um, and so if we start to think about how are we going to make use of current technology to enable the future workforce to feel at home when they enter, then we really need to start thinking about automation. You need to start thinking about automation. You need to start thinking about the way that we can make things more intuitive, that everything is accessible, uh, that it is touchable where possible, and that voice can enable processes and tasks to be completed. And that's where the role of hyper-automation really comes in. Hyper-automation is the very start of this journey to enable the future workforce to work in a way that is less alien to them, while also driving efficiencies, customer experience improvements, and of course, you know, top and bottom line uh, improvements to your margin uh, and, and profitability. And so this is not something that you can just walk into. It has to be a priority. You have to change the way that you think as an organization. You have to obviously make use of hyper automation technologies at scale to change the way that work is completed within your business.